Today we're going to do part three of dividing polynomials. Uh, so let's get started. So I ha let's say I have negative eight x to the third plus 10x minus four divided by two x minus three, okay? Now, we, the polynomial that's being divided, if you notice, the exponents, you have x to the third, but you don't have x to the second. So we're missing x to the second. Okay? You have x to the first, and you have no x. Okay? You have your constant here. So when we divide, we have to include this x to the second. And we're going to say 0x to the second because we have 0x to the seconds, okay? So I'm going to write my problem here. I'm going to write negative 8x to the third. I'm going to write plus 0x to the second plus 10x minus 4, Okay? And I'm going to show you why we need this right here in a couple of seconds, okay? So this is a binomial. Again, I'm going, going to go to the second position of this, this polynomial, my second term. So um, what number times 2x will give me negative 8x to the third? Well, that's going to be um, negative 4x squared. So negative 4x squared times 2x is negative 8x to the third. Negative 4x squared times 3 is a positive 12x squared. Now, if I did not have this x, this 0x to the squared here, this 10x would be in this position, and I would not be able to subtract. 10x minus 12x squared. Okay? So that's why I have this, I have to put the x squared in this position, okay? So now let me change my signs. This negative will become a positive and this positive will become a negative because I'm distributing my negative or multiplying each term by a negative 1. Alright? So negative 8x to the third plus 8x to the third leave zero. Zero x squares minus 12 x squares would leave me with negative 12 x squares. Bring down my plus 10 x. Now, what number times 2 x will give me negative 12 x squared? Well, negative 6 x. Negative 6 x times 2 x is negative 12 x squared. Negative 6 x times negative 3 is a positive um, 18x. So this term, this negative term become a positive term and this positive term become a negative term again because I'm multiplying, um, I'm distributing my negative throughout the polynomial here. Okay? So the x squares will cancel each other out. That leaves me with 10x minus 18x, which is negative 8x minus 4. Now, what number times 2x will give me negative 8x? Well, negative 4. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x, and negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. I need to subtract this binomial. I'm going to distribute by negative. That become a plus 8x, and this will become a minus 12. The x's will cancel each other out. That leaves me with negative 4 minus 12, which is negative 16. And my final answer is going to be negative 14x squared minus 6x minus 4. Since that's a minus, I'm going to write minus, minus 16 in my numerator and 2x minus 3 in my denominator. And this is your final answer. Alright? 
I'm going to work one more and then I'll give you one to work. Now if you feel like you're ready to to do this on your own, instead of watching me work it, why don't you work it and see if you'll get the same thing. Put the video on pause before I work it. Okay. If I look at this polynomial here, I have x to the fourth, x to the second. So I'm missing x to the third. I have x to the second, but then I have my constant, so I'm missing my x. So I'm going to include my 0 x to the third and my 0 x in this polynomial. So I have 5x minus 10, and I have negative 5x to the fourth. I need my x cubed plus 0 x cubed minus 10x squared plus 0x plus 7. If you notice, my exponents are in descending order. x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the second, and x. Okay? So, since it's a binomial, I'm going to go in the second position of my polynomial here. And this is the place where I write my first um, my first and my first number here. So, um, one number times five x will give me negative um, five x to the fourth, and that's going to be negative x to the third. So negative x to the third times five x is negative um, five x to the fourth. Negative x to the third times negative ten is a positive ten x to the third. And again. If I didn't have, if I didn't place the 0x to the third in this position, then this negative 10x squared would be in this position, and I will have to subtract negative 10x squared um, plus 10x cubed, and that can't be done, okay? So, my signs are going to change because I'm distributing the negative. So that's going to leave me with negative... 10x to the third minus 10x squared. Um, so now I need to know what number times 5x will give me negative 10x cubed. Well, that's going to be plus. That's going to be a. Um, that's going to be uh, minus. I'm sorry. Negative 2x squared. So negative 2x squared times 5x is negative 10x cubed. Negative 2x squared times negative 10 is a um, positive 20x squared. Now I'm going to distribute by negative, so that's going to become a plus 10x cubed, and this is going to become a minus 20x squared. The x cubes are going to cancel. That leaves you with negative 10x squared minus 20x squared, which is negative um, 30x squared. I'm going to bring my, my, down my 0x. What number times 5x will give me negative 30x squared? And that number is going to be negative 6x. So negative 6x squared times 5x is negative 30x squared. Negative 6x times negative 10 is a positive 60x. I'm going to subtract my binomial. The negative will become a positive and this positive will become a negative. The x squares are going to cancel each other out. That leaves me with negative 60x plus 7. So what number times 5x will give me negative 60x? Well, negative 12. Negative 12 times 5x is negative 60x. Negative 12 times negative 10 is a positive 120. This negative will become a positive. This positive will become a negative. The x terms will cancel each other out. 
and that's going to leave me with negative 113. So uh, my final answer is going to be negative x cubed minus 2x squared minus 6x minus 12 minus, that's a minus, 113 over 5x minus 10. And here is your final quotient. All right. All right, let me give you one to try. We have um, 16x to the fourth minus 8x minus 24 divided by negative 2x plus 4. If you please um, divide these two polynomials and pause the video. Thank you. All right, let's divide. So I have negative 2x plus 4. All right, let's look at this number here, okay? I have x to the fourth. I'm missing a lot here. I'm missing x to the, I have x to the fourth. I'm missing an x to the third. I'm missing an x to the second. I have my x and I have my constant. So I'm going to write 16x to the fourth plus 0x to the third plus 0x squared minus 8x minus 24. All right. So let's see what we have here. Um, it's a binomial. I'm going to go to the second position. So what number times negative 2x will give me 16x to the fourth? That's going to be negative 8x to the third. Negative 8x to the third times negative 2x is a positive 16x to the fourth. Negative 8x to the third times 4 is a negative um, 32x to the third. Okay. Now again, remember the reason why I have to place this here because if I didn't have the if I didn't substitute the zero uh, x to the third and the zero x to the second and these place values, I'll end up with a negative 8x in this position right here. And negative 8x minus um, 32x cubed. I can't do that. It's already simplified. So let's distribute our negative that will become a negative and this will become a positive so the x to the fourth will cancel out that's going to leave me with 32 x to the third plus 0 x squared all right so um, I need to know what number times negative 2 x will give me a positive 32 x cubed and that number is going to be negative 16 x to the second okay negative 16 x to the second times negative 2 x will give me a positive 32 x to the third negative 16 x to the second times 4 will give me a negative um, 64 x squared I'm going to distribute my negative, so that will become a negative, and that will be a positive. The x cubes will cancel out. That is going to leave me with um, 64x squared minus my 8x, bring down my minus 8x. What number times negative 2x will give me um, 64x squared? And that's going to be negative 32x. Well, negative 32x times negative um, 2x will leave me will leave will give me 64x squared. 32x times 4 will give me a a negative 128x. I need to distribute my negatives. That will be a negative, and this will be a positive negative 8x plus um, 
128x will leave me with a positive 120x. Bring down my minus 24. We're almost finished. What number times negative 2x will, leave, will give me 120x? And that number is going to be negative 60x. I'm sorry, negative negative 60 negative 60 I'm sorry negative 60 so negative 60 times uh, negative 2x is a positive 120x negative 60 times 4 will give me a negative um, 240 I'm going to subtract so I need to distribute my negative that would be a negative 120x. This would be a positive um, 240. The x's will cancel. Negative 24 plus 240 leaves me with 216. Okay. So our final answer is negative 8x cubed minus 16x squared minus 32x minus 60, that's a positive, so I'm going to write plus 260 over negative 2x plus 4. And this is your final answer. If you didn't understand what I just did, please watch the videos on um, combining like terms and um, my exponents section on my website and that will explain a lot of what I just did today um, and also combining like terms alright well that's it for today um, please visit mathwithmoon.org for future videos and leave your comments and suggestions and I will see you next time bye